live on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange for some thoughts on the markets and some stock picks. Let's bring in Devon Drew. Joining us at the Market Site studio, we have Devon Drew. He's the CEO and CIO of DFD Partners. Devon Drew joins me now from DFD Partners. He is here to talk about some very interesting new ideas for all you asset and finance managers out there. Let's talk some stocks here. Joining me now is Devon Drew, CEO of DFD Partners, a software firm that supports asset managers. Uh, Devon, thanks so much for coming on the show. Devon Drew, he's the founder and CEO of DFD Partners. It leverages data and AI to support asset managers who are looking for cost-effective scale. He has over 16 years of experience in this industry and has raised over uh, $30 billion in client assets over that time. Devon, great to have you on the program here. Good afternoon, thank you for having me. I'm a 16-year Wall Street senior executive. I've worked at over $12 trillion worth of organizations. I speak the language not only for my clients, which is asset managers, but they're in clients, which are the wealth managers. Being raised by a single mother and seeing her not take any mess from anyone, drive us from Jersey to Brooklyn every day just to go to school, late nights, early mornings, to be able to provide me a better life. You know, not only do I owe it to her, but I owe it to, to my community where I'm from. The face, the background, and the profile of wealth is changing before our very eyes. And now more than ever, the demand for diverse, and impactful and differentiated investment solutions inside of your portfolio is becoming ever important. So if you look at the demographics, right, mm-hmm. there's $68 trillion changing hands over the next 20 years, going from baby boomers all the way down to millennials and Gen Zs. And in fact, millennials invest three times more in alternatives than their baby boomer and Generation X counterpart. Microsoft to Amazon, Meta, of course, all announcing layoffs. Do you think that there are more layoffs to come? I think that it signifies that they're preparing for a a downtrend. People are seeing these 10% numbers, but tech only represents roughly 2% of the labor market. You know, there's still areas of strength. I think that, you know, looking into 2023, there's a lot of optimism for the back half of that because, you know, at some point, the Fed's going to have to pivot and cut rate, which will be very attractive. This is what we've been expecting since we since we saw the latest CPI print and then last week with the PPI print. And you saw the what happened with the dollar after the latest PPI print came in at 8% compared to 8.3%. Uh, the dollar was down, uh, the dollar is down as much as 60 pips across the board. So with, with that, that just goes to show that this market is very data driven and that any type of indi- uh, economic indicator can move the markets up or down. Uh, so for so for us, that's telling us that the Fed minutes in the, in the market actually rising is a very positive indicator of a, of a rally coming up. Do you think uh, investors have gotten smarter? I think the access for information is is there. Um, not only the access for information, but folks like like yourselves being able to educate the the incline. And there's a lot of space for the small yeah. and mid size because you know the face background and profile of wealth is changing. Uh, the the fact that these boutique managers are offering um, different type of alpha generation and that's what you're going to need. So it's 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 much easier to generate alpha when you're a two billion dollar fund. Um, as opposed to a $2 trillion fund. You leverage not only public data, but paid data to match a uh, fund manager, an asset manager that has that product fit with an allocator that has that product need. And the benefit for our uh, clients, which are the asset managers, it shortens their sales cycle, it reduces their client acquisition costs, but more importantly, allows them not to have to add to that expensive headcount. There is no one that is more capable of putting together an organization to disrupt the $100 trillion industry than me with DFD Partners.